Stormy Strike here and this is a video about something I've been really wanting to talk about for quite a while now. And with hearing of even more people leaving the Model Horse YouTube movie making community, I thought now would be a good time to do this. Is the Model Horse movie making community currently dead? And if so, why? I'm not really sure how to begin this video because this video is probably going to be viewed by mostly two different groups that I'm assuming are watching this. Now these two different groups are first off the people that are like me that experience the world of the model horse movie making community in its heyday and probably have a sense of nostalgia for this time in which we lived a big part of our childhood or youth. And then there is the group of people that didn't experience this time and might not even have much idea about what I'm talking about. So I'm going to break things down the best I can so that everyone can get a general idea about a little bit of brief history of model horse movie making before I go in depth talking about why the model horse movie making community appears to be currently dead. Now the history of model horse movie making is a bit spotty and hard to decipher, especially when some videos have gotten deleted over the years and different model horse movie creators left YouTube entirely. Perhaps one day I'll try and actually make a video going over as much model horse movie making history as I can find, but for this video I'm just going to give you a really brief summary of it. So to begin, if you didn't know, YouTube was really different back like when it first started because their videos were like lower quality. People really didn't get paid for the videos they posted most of the time. And it was just really different overall. I feel like today it's more of a battlefield on YouTube of like creators desperately trying to make money and trying to get their videos to have attention, have sponsorships and brand deals and basically just try to make a living off of YouTube. But it didn't used to be like that. Okay, so some of the more popular model horse YouTubers that were back in the day were channels like Ava4563, Ranch Girl8888, May51963, and of course the infamous Cinnamon Mew Mew, and even Honeyheart C, who used to be Honeyhearts27. And back then she really only made mini mini movies instead of doing like a lot of unboxing and review style videos. She had really focused on just like little little stories with the mini winnies. So basically everyone was doing the same kind of thing, which was making model horse movies, whether with Schleichs or Briars or even Barbie horses. And people didn't really care as much about like the quality of videos. They really just made them to have fun. The model horse movie making community is dead compared to its heydays, which I would estimate started around eight years ago. I'd guess around 2008 is what you consider like one of the highest points of the model horse movie making community. And I feel like the community for model horse movie making was really strong for several years, but then I feel like for the past few years it's becoming less and less. And as of right now, I feel as though it kind of hardly exists. There are several people out there still making movies and series, but it's not how it was before. And so I'm going to be talking about my theories about why that is. So back then, model horse YouTubers seemed to mostly focus on things like movies, having contests, making trailers, having the briars talk to the camera, and just fun silly things like that over the videos that a lot of people mostly do today that are more focused on things like reviews and unboxings. Now of course there were a lot of videos back then too where people did model horse unboxings and reviews, but I feel like compared to the other stuff it just wasn't as prevalent. And it wasn't really the main focus of the community. I think that like model horse movies and series were definitely the main focus back then. Another factor is technology. Now, you would think that with more advanced, more accessible technology, that that would mean more people would be making Briar movies. Yet, I think that it's actually harder because there are now more expectations on Briar movies. Especially since movies and series like Fox Glory's Vengeance Reign came out and they really raised the bar on model horse movie quality. 
In the old Briar movies, no one was really concerned with hands being in shots or things being out of focus or the editing not being perfect or the sound to be funky. No one seemed to really care back then because we just expected that kind of quality or we were just more focused on using our imaginations and enjoying the storylines to really be that critical about them. I also want to make it clear that I'm not blaming anyone like Fox Glory for making really great quality videos by the way. I'm not saying like, oh because of them everyone expects this kind of quality. I'm not, not saying that at all. I think it's great that people have found ways to improve their movies and series in new ways. What I'm saying is that higher standards can make it feel more intimidating, I think, to some newer filmmakers when really it shouldn't be. You have to remember that the people that do really good Briar movies have had a lot of practice and experience and for the most part they all started out just like everybody else. And it's taken them a while to get where they are now. This isn't just something that happens overnight. You really do have to practice to get good at these kinds of things. So if any of you guys out there want to make Briar movies and you've been worried about the quality not being good or something, just seriously, try not to worry. Just go out there and do it. Don't worry about what anyone says. And honestly, I think for like your first run through of doing like a model horse movie or series or whatever, just go out there and do it and don't worry about any mistakes you make and just start to learn as you go. As you make mistakes, you can learn from them. Instead, try not to like worry so much, if that makes sense. What also made those old Briar videos different from the ones today is that a lot of the old model horse YouTubers started by just playing on camera. That was just what it was. Kids playing with model horses on camera. Letting their imaginations fly, not worrying about carefully planning out scripts or amazing production quality. They were just having fun and capturing those moments on camera. And now those kids that were just playing with briars with the camera on are now all grown up, including myself. And it is growing up that is pretty much the main factor, I believe, as to why the model horse community seems dead right now. A lot of people have left the community over the past few years or even just really really recently like Celtic Legend. What tends to happen is that those of us that grew up playing with Briars and making these movies tend to kind of grow out of it because unfortunately when you get older you suddenly have all these responsibilities, all these things you have to worry about and life just becomes overall more difficult and it really sucks. Really pretty much all of the original model horse movie makers have grown up and are doing different things with their life now. I got into the model horse movie making world when I was about 13 and now I'm 21 which is crazy. And I didn't realize back then how lucky I had it at times where I had nothing to worry about but homework and I got to just go out and play and make Briar movies and now I'm stressed all the time. I'm working basically three jobs and I feel like I have hardly any free time anymore and I'm just constantly like on edge and going crazy. So yeah, growing up is really not what it's cut out to be. I was going to do a whole thing about where I talk more in depth about my experience in the model horse community. Also, I'm really sorry if I can't say that right. I can't say, I can't pronounce community very well. I tend to mispronounce it. I'm really sorry for that if that's bothering anyone. But anyway, I was going to talk more about being in the model horse community and extremely in depth in my theories about the factors that led to the downfall of the model horse movie making community. But I don't want to make this video too long and I don't know if anyone is actually all that interested in hearing about that. So I'll just hold that part back and save it for another video later on maybe. Especially since like weirdly it was honestly kind of emotional for me to look back on like old YouTube movie making days. And I don't want to make this video too depressing because that's not actually my goal of this at all. I actually want it to end off on a really really good note. So let's start talking about the good stuff now. So maybe the model horse movie making YouTube community really is dead right now. But if it is, that doesn't mean it has to stay dead. Just because a lot of the veteran Briar and Schleich YouTubers 
are not posting videos anymore doesn't mean that new people can't. And that will actually lead into another video that will be coming out later on after this one. Last year I said that I'm putting my old series Crystal Sins on hold until I have the time to really figure it out and make it good and so on. And right now it is still on hold, but I honestly haven't lost any passion for that series. I really am just dying to work on it again. And it depends on how things go in my life, in my career. But maybe, just maybe, we'll get to see the return of that series in 2019. But in the meantime, I've been teasing this for a while in several previous videos over several months now that I have a Briar movie in the works, but I haven't really given you guys a title yet or a premise or really anything. I've just been saying I have a Briar movie, but I haven't really said anything else beyond that. Well, now I'm making the official announcement for it. Coming 2018 is Hot Shot. This is a family-friendly Briar movie that will be approximately 40 minutes long, airing on YouTube. Hotshot is about a young Pentabian stallion that is brought to a new stable and struggles to fit in with the other horses. On the screen now is the first poster I whipped up for it. I originally thought that this movie was going to be about 20 minutes total in length, but after working more on the script and adding a lot of additional scenes, I'm actually currently estimating it to be about 40 minutes long when it's completed. I have not yet decided how the voice work for this movie will be done yet, but I am leaning towards the idea of doing a casting call in the near future. More details will be released later on as I figure that out. I do not have a set release date yet for Hot Shot, and I will not probably have one for quite some time, as I really don't know what my college workload is going to be in the upcoming months. However, I can pretty much guarantee that it will air in 2018. I am aiming for it to be released in early of that year, but I can't really make any guarantees on that yet. But I can pretty much assure you it's going to come out next year, I just don't know exactly when yet. And I will be keeping you guys updated on the production for Hot Shot as much as possible. I will be posting things like production photos, camera tests, trailers, and scene teasers. I have not started filming quite yet, mostly due to the fact that it's just been really, really hot here and it's been too hard for me to go out and film the scenes because it's been just too hot. <laughs> because it's just been too hot to film Hot Shot. Oh, the puns! But I promise you guys I will begin filming as soon as possible. I'm actually trying to do it as early as this weekend to get at least a couple scenes filmed. Now there is one more announcement I have and I'm like super excited about it, but I think it really deserves its own video and I am going to get that video out as soon as I can. Now let's just say any aspiring model horse filmmakers out there, get your cameras ready because we're bringing back the heydays of model horse movies in big ways. Question of the video. What is your favorite old school model horse movie or series? Let me know down in the comment section below. That is all now for this video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any model horse news. And if you'd like to be notified right away of whenever I post a new video, you can click the little notification bell button. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. And I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!